Hello, uh, I'm Conor Sullivan here and you are in Main Room Ealing, Market County, Cork. Uh, I joined the Blue Dot in 2019. Uh, this is, uh, as I call it, my magic field. There is loads of, there's what is 17 different types of grasses here. Uh, as to the amount of flowers here, I have no idea, but uh, the last time I got fertilizer was around 1983. The cattle come in here several times a year. They, they graze it down and they, they do their business here. That's the fertilizer. The Diallo Farming for Blue Dot Catchments project is a European innovation partnership initiative that works with farmers in a North Cork subcatchment of the Munster Blackwater to protect and restore rivers to high status. Using a results-based payment system, farmers are rewarded for maintaining high quality habitats, buffers and other measures that protect water quality. Funding is also provided to farmers to install capital actions through an additional proposed work system. Farmer knowledge transfer is another important part of the project where farmers can visit other farms to see measures installed in the project or attend workshops and talks about relevant topics such as results-based scoring and tree planting. What we're here to do today uh, is to score this wet grassland uh, for Con as part of his results-based payments. Um, so from on the Duhalla Farming for Blue Dot Catchments program, we're looking at uh, high status subjective water bodies. Um, so it's water quality is our main focus. Um, so what we're looking at is uh, you know the positive indicator species like this, the the meadow sweet, devil's bit scabious. Um, you can see the yellow flower here is the bird's foot trefoil. Um, we've got a lot of them around us. So we're going to go and score uh, the habitat for firstly the the indicator species. These like nutrient poor soils. So what they're telling us is that not a lot of manure has been put out here, which is a good thing for for water quality. Uh, another important thing about that we're going to look at is uh, the wet features uh, in the fields. So these wet grasslands, they hold water. Um, and that's, that's very important for rivers. It's very important for natural flood management. And uh, if we look at blue dot water bodies uh, in Ireland, the biggest pressure is actually hydromorphology, which would be uh, changes to the physical characteristics of the river. And that can be caused in a number of ways. But one of the ways that can be caused is by drainage of fields for, uh, for forestry or for agriculture. So you can imagine if this field was drained, it would, it would cause more water to come down uh, into the river during heavy rainfall and all of that contributes to uh, to uh, riverbank erosion and those kind of things so and, and sedimentation of the river so that's not what we want so um, that's one of the things we're rewarding the farmers for actually keeping these uh, grasslands so uh, another thing we look at is the vegetation structure you can see that um, you can see that uh, there, there's a diverse structure there's some tall grasses there's some shorter patches um, so it's been well managed, you're not seeing lodging, you're not seeing the rushes falling over on top of each other, um, grasses falling on top of each other. It's been, it's been nicely grazed, it's not been overgrazed, we're not seeing any, any poaching. Um, so this, this grassland has been managed very well for, for nature and that's what we're going to, it's going to get a very high score. Now, there, there's, now maybe he'll chuck back it down here, I might be a lot nicer when there's lots of there's more flowers. That's what we're trying to do is kind of reward farmers who do keep these, these grasslands. They're important for, not just for water quality, but for birds. You know, a lot, a lot of our birds we're, we're losing because of um, the loss of grasslands. So, you know, you'd have like the, the curlew, the breeding waders, the curlew, you'd have the corn crake. Um, this is just, it, it's not just water. It's very, very important for all sorts of biodiversity invertebrates. Like as we're walking around here now, we're going to see probably some devil's bit scabious, which is uh, the food plant of the, Marsh fertility butterfly, which is Ireland's only protected uh, insect species. You can see a couple of insects on it.
a lovely example of the devil's uh, Vitscavius flower starting to form. And down below them we have beautiful mosses, which again are a great sign of a nice wet grassland. So this here then is tormental. So this is Angelica, it's, this is a large umbel, this be the umbel, um, and you can tell by the leaves that it's Angelica, there's a few different ones that we look for, but uh, you can see the amount of insect life on the, on the flowers, really, really important species. So this is Yorkshire Fog, which is a, a grass species that uh, we use as a positive indicator as well. So you can see there's a nice purple colour to it. So this is a ragged robin, beautiful flower. Again, another nice grassland species. 